So they try to say it's a pulsatile tinnitus, but it's basically a throbbing inside the head, bad, loud. Uh, what we learn now is that when we put a collar on you and put a little, well, every time you get a collar, it comes with a little sleeve. So we stuff the sleeve in here like a wad of paper, putting pressure on the transverse process of the atlas. It makes the throbbing go away. It makes the sound go away. Uh, and on the CT scan, we see that the atlas has gone up to the right, and there might be uh, a vertebral artery compromise of some kind, but we know there's a jugular vein compromise in here. And I've got some great still shots of it. So you already knew that you had this. You had both your styloids removed, which helped. Uh, but we still have what you came in uh, with yesterday. Uh, so here we have the styloids removed. This one still has, it's still coming down a little bit. Uh, but on the right side, they completely resected it. And it opened up a lot. But let's see what, there's another shot where the atlas, basically the, at, the jugular vein is being bordered by the atlas, the internal carotid and not the styloids anymore so much. Uh, we drew a line through the center of the frame of magnum, uh, adjusting the atlas from right to left. Here again, you can see your, your jugulars uh, being uh, bordered by the atlas pretty close. Uh, here there's, there's, well, we found an omohyoid and trapping down there a little bit, but I don't think that's really what's, that's a good shot of it right there, the ten, omohyoid tendon digging in there. But I want to, this is what I want to show you. Okay, styloid's been removed. Now we still have a narrowing in through here. And when we jut your jaw forward, it gets better and it opens this up. We've got some great images when you turn your head to the side and jut your jaw forward that all this opens up. So is it the, is it the posterior belly of the digastric? Is it some other connective tissue in there just compressing? Um, the styloids, before the styloids were removed, we can be pretty much assured they were beating up the tissue around in there. So there could be some granulomatous tissue in there. Uh, we know the tissue, the vein doesn't look the same as it, as it would have before the uh, styloid beats it up. Um, so there's going to be some soft tissue changes in there uh, over time. Uh, I don't really know what we can do with that, but I do know we want you to hold your jaw forward. We have a dental appliance for you to sleep with. Um, but there's, there is, there's still a, I mean, do you get dry needling on, on the posterior belly of the gastric? Maybe. Uh, you, and if you're doing that, you might as well get dry, dry needling on the homohyoid. Um, let's see here. Yep, there's the left side. So you can see where they removed the styloid up to about right there, but it's still wispy thin. Look how thin that is. Um, so there's still some, some tissue in there. What kind of soft, work, soft tissue work can we do in there? Uh, I think maybe some massaging, maybe breaking up some fibrous adhesions in there. Uh, I don't know. I think some work could be done there. But I think that's really what's what's going on. So uh, when the atlas is out of place, we, we feel up in here, we feel all the muscles. The muscles are guarding and splinting and trying to hold that heavy bowling ball on. And then we, after we adjust it, the muscles relax. They occupy less space. Now, in your case, as soon as we put you upright, it seemed like your atlas slid right back out. And the x-ray we took after we adjusted you showed that it still is resistant to improvement. Although we got some symptomatic changes with uh, neck pain and some other things, uh, we still got a nasty sprain up in there. Oh, that's right, I forgot to mention. So this, after you had abdominal surgery, you woke up with this. So we've seen this a lot where they'll do surgery on something and then when the person wakes up, they were in a funny position and the ligaments uh, got compromised and I'm not judging anybody, they, they, it just happens. So, and it could argue that your atlas has a tendency to slide up to the right real fast just because of your anatomy and they had you in a position that allowed it to go too far. Um, and so you woke up from the surgery, abdominal surgery, having these, these symptoms and positional, you can hold your neck in certain positions and make the throbbing go away. Or the, uh, but that's really the, the main thing in there. Yeah, a couple more shots of that. Yeah, left head rotation goes up to the app to the right pretty quickly. It's kind of already there. Uh, here we are, left head rotation, jutting your jaw forward. Look how much vein op space opens up in there. Beautiful. Uh, so there's a rule of thumb: if you can make it go away for a moment, you can make it go away forever. So since we can make it go away by you wearing a brace and, and moving the atlas, holding, supporting the atlas in the correct position, we know it's going to go. It'll it'll go away eventually. Well, 
maybe you get prolo, maybe you get some advanced procedures up in there, but at least we know what it is. Uh, I believe jutting the jaw forward is going to help open up some of this. Um, now, we do think you might have an AV fistula. I think there's a good shot of that somewhere. We might have already missed that. Uh, left head rotation. Oh, and this is a good shot where you've got some calcification in there where you've had some, it's kind of stabilized. And now that the styloids have been removed, you really aren't too loose in there, at least from the imaging that we did. Left head rotation. Left head rotation, not coming off too badly. Yeah. Right, right head rotation. You can see how the jugular opens up just because the atlas is coming off of it by right rotation. Uh, right rotation, the atlas going forward on the left tends to put pressure on it. Uh, right head rotation. Even with right head rotation, you see how the atlas doesn't really slide too far up to the left. It uh, it's kind of stays actually pretty much in the neutral position. Uh, yeah, showing that. Right head rotation. That one was a little too much. Here we're showing, you know what, let's go back to that one. This was a little too much. With right head rotation, we're seeing the atlas come off of C2 a little too much. Uh, so avoid that movement. Uh, and here we see some bent spinous processes, T1, T2. Uh, so this is the carotid sheath, and we're saying that there's probably some damage in there. Uh, and that's why we're still seeing the, the jugular vein matted closely matted together, which opens up when you jut your jaw forward and your symptoms get a little better there. Uh, so there's the device we'd like people to wear. Uh, oh yeah, here, here's the difference between uh, just neutral and then when you open your move your jaw forward and left head rotation, big difference there. So basically our current working diagnosis is you got a nasty sprain up the, uh, when you were unconscious and the atlas slides too fast, too far and is resistant to uh, staying in the normal a normal position. Um, there's a shot of the omohyoid. All right, let me find the I I want to show a good shot of that uh, possible AV fistula. So the an AV fistula is when the high pressure artery inflates the low pressure vein. There's a shot of it there. And this was on the arterial face. So when we ran the contrast through the arter arteries, uh, this inflated pretty quickly. And then when, when we wait and do the venous phase, it, it goes away. Oh, there's a beautiful shot of it. That's on the arterial phase. So we've got a vein really lift, filled up there. Uh, so what do we want? So we want uh, manometry done. Uh, they're gonna go in there, run some contrast in there and rule out any kind of damage between the, the artery and the vein. Uh, that connection getting broken. And we've seen it in the past with other people when they have the styloids pinching down on the jugulars like you did. Uh, it's just one of the things. Okay, any questions, anything I might have missed? What do you want to say? Also, when I am uh, swallowing like any food, it also goes into my throat and I feel how it's going with do -do 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 -do. Side. Okay, side. So it goes into my ears. Okay. So that noise. All right. All right. Uh, and on x ray, you didn't look that bad. Uh, the CT scan kind of shows it looking a little, a little worse. Now, I don't know everything that's going on with you. Uh, the good news is you typically have to just fix one or two things, uh, and the person gets a lot better. Anything else? Okay.